So today, with the uh, continuation of after we work on Jennifer's um, neck region, we also will oftentimes will adjust her upper thoracic here, particularly in her mid thoracic here. So typically what we do with the upper thoracic, we always talk about the kyphosis or the roundness in the upper back. Now Jennifer is really, you know, she's still young, so she doesn't have a lot of what we call a gibbous formation or a hunchback or uh, in the olden days they called it the dowager's hump up through here for female. Um, but again, everything really comes down to is that how rounded patients have um, in their thoracic spine up here. So that's our main concern. So for us today, we will address these regions for Jennifer. Now again, most patients, they will oftentimes will say that they, they really don't have a lot of pain in the mid-back area at all. Now, when we work on them, it's a different story. They usually have a lot of soreness and a lot of tightness while we work on them, but they typically don't have pain at rest unless you know they put a lot of stress in that re region or have fallen or sprained or strain a particular joint. So for Jen, again, we're gonna put a lot of pressure on her periscapular muscles here to release a lot of this lower trapezius muscle and along the posterior lo longitudinal ligaments here before we adjust her spine. Good. And this is typically, Jennifer would tell you, is probably the most painful things that we do on her before we adjust her, right? She's giving you a thumbs up right there. And, uh, but at the same time, most patients will, will say that it's, uh, it feels good, but at the same time, it is painful, you know? Good. Keep breathing for me, Jen. So after we release the muscle bone, Jennifer, we will adjust her upper thoracic here. Now you're going to take a deep breath for me right there, Jen. And breathe out for me, please. Relax your shoulders for me. All right, good. Nice job. You're going to take another deep breath for me, Jen. And breathe out for me. All right, good. Relax your shoulders for me. Nice job. And she does cavitate and does pop. It's not your normal resounding noises, but it does move pretty well for her. Take another deep breath for me, Jen. And breathe out for me, relax your shoulders. Nice job, Jen. All right, we're gonna use the drop table on the lower thoracic here. Take a deep breath for me, Jen. All right, now I'm gonna switch side. And take a deep breath for me. And breathe out for me, Jen. All right, good. Good job. And the key again is to drive everything on a posterior to anterior movement so we can have the reduction in the thoracic spine here or thoracic kyphosis. And we also stretch her upper thoracic spine, uh, um, I'm sorry, her upper shoulder to enhance the curvature of the spine here. Good. Let's have you resist downward for me right there, Chen. Nice job. Keep going. Good. And we will do the same thing to her left side here. Good. Use this down for me, Jen. Good. And again. One more time, please. And relax. So we always want to have the chest to be stretching pretty vertical here with the arm angle here. That tells us we are releasing the front side of the muscle of your chest and at the same time enable more movement in the thoracic spine here. All right. Nice job, Jen.